Welcome to this look at new mods to Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. CDP. It's Wednesday, it's the 20th of July. We have got new mods. We've got a few updates as well. The map East Vineland, New Jersey, USA by Mac Trucker 921 has had an update. Uh, the chainsaw on it is huge. It goes down quite a long way. Quite a few things have been changed on it. Now it does say for two of the points, it says about trees being uh, replaced, double trees, floating trees, that kind of stuff. Utility poles. It says, note, you will need a new save game for the trees to reset to the updated version. However, it's not totally necessary if you don't mind where the original trees are in your current save game. Then it goes further down, there's a whole load more stuff. Um, and it says about um, new ground textures and foliages. It also says you will need a new save game if you want the new areas to reset to the up updated ground textures and foliages. However, it's not totally necessary if you don't mind how the terrain is painted in your current save game. I would suggest go in and have a look at the, the, like I say, the list on there is huge. Added many more ground textures to paint in-game while landscaping, added more foliage textures to the paint in-game while landscaping, and tons of things have been fixed. So go in, have a look if you're on that map or you're thinking about playing on it. The Kamatsu Valmet 911.4 by Vectorman. The New Holland Siri LTL by Sevi Modding AM Modding. The 53-foot drop deck trailer pack with auto load by Mac Trucker 921. And the windmill by the Lort. Now that has oh yeah it was the actual windmill turning the windmill now spins when making flour and the file size has been decreased that was by the lot uh, all those have had updates today we haven't got many mods today which is quite nice so we've got in front of us the vintage fuel pump this is by af modding 3.29 megabytes download five slots on console it only cost 2500 you find it under build mode and tools the detail on it is amazing Sort of the way they're in the chipped bits on it. Very, very nice. You know, these sort of things can be overlooked. I do generally try and look at, when I do the mod reviews, at texturing and weathering and that kind of thing. And that, you know, the time and effort and energy gone into something like that. Uh, like I said, sorry, under build mode. Under tools. Right in the very end there. 2,500. Slot count comes down to one. Lovely. Next, we've got this. This is the Prinoth Wheel Loader Leveler. This is by HR Forst and Fazoigbao. 0.7 megabytes download, three slots on console. It's five meters wide when extended. You will find it under levelers, but it is for wheel loaders, unless, of course, you've got adapters and things. There are a few different adapters about. Uh, there's a couple of modes. You can have it like this, or you can have it open. You can't manually move the wings in and out. It's open or closed, but it does say it will push anything. This you'll find under tools and levelers, which was there. Out on the end, six grand to buy, not too expensive. 500 kilograms, so you can use it as a weight as well if you want to. Slot count comes down to one. We can change the main color to anything on that palette. And the design color is the blade on the bottom. At the moment it's on polished metal, but you can you know, pick whatever you want to mix and match whatever you're using or just to make it stand out. It's entirely up to you. So we hop in there, start this up. So obviously on the wheel loader you've got your raising and lowering and things you can do with that. So L1 and X unfolds leveller. Adjust it to where you want to go. Right. Push, level, whatever you want it to. Not much else to say about that one. That's the Prinoth wheel loader leveller by HR Forst and Fazoigbao. Uh, next we have got over here. This is the Lizard 9 Anchors. This is by Thomas96 Modding. It is 3.28 megabytes download, two slots on console. It's not three meters, I'm afraid. It is under cultivators. It's a 2.5 meter. Nicely made, nicely detailed. You will find said object under cultivators. It's only two grand. 70 horsepower required. You can have it without reinforcement or with. So push that bar on the top just to keep it all nice and sturdy. Design colour changes the tips so you can have metallic or you can have red to match up with the rest of it. And it cultivates. Now this is a regular cultivator, not a shallow cultivator. So if I drop that down now, 
So if you've got stones enabled, it will bring up uh, light stones. I haven't, but it will do. And it will cultivate to 2.5 metres. The Lizard Nine Anchors by Thomas96 Modding. Next, we've got a few actually making a welcome return today, or a couple, I should say, not a few. Uh, we've got the Lemken Solitaire 12800. This is by Camelos0397. 4.36 megabytes download, seven slots on console, and by the name, it's Lemken Solitaire 12. 800 it's eight meters wide rather than the 12 meters of the standard one it's a little bit cheaper as well i say a little bit quite a bit cheaper and obviously you've got color options you can see this is not the standard lemkin color nicely detailed i use this one a lot on six ashes i think i do like the the solitaires uh, you'll find it under cedars it's not a direct drill now i've been quite a couple of times here i might test it actually with mods normally one that says it's a direct drill like that one there says additionally this cedar offers the possibility and then blah 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 this one doesn't as the standard one doesn't as well but you notice the difference all right that's 12 meters to be fair but this is only eight but 77 grand i think that's hugely cheaper uh still got a 5800 liter tank options on it we've got trelleborg you can have standard or narrows and then we got michelin bkt Vredestein, standard or narrows. Continental, just narrows, then back to Trelleborg. Main colour choice, anything on that palette. And then we've got license plate option on there as well. As I said, 5,800 litres. Now this has been cultivated. Nice animation. Uh, cover open. Now the cover will open once it's been opened up. You can fill it up with the cover closed, which is what I did on the way out. I just filled it up from a bioneting silo. But then if you do cover open with the whole thing folded up, it won't open. Once it's unfolded, the cover will open, as you can see. Uh, start it up, drop it down. And we are seeding. I've just seen it from the right angle there. You can just see the difference in colour. But what I will do is go across to a bit that hasn't been mulched yet. It's just been harvested and it shouldn't work. <laughs> As you can see, it's not working. So it's not a direct drill. <laughs> it doesn't hurt to check, does it? Like I said, I've been quite a couple of times. But I think for 8 metres for the price as well and the capacity 5,000 litres, it does only do the seed, it doesn't seed and fertilise. Very nice to see that making a return or a coming to FS22. That's by Camelos0397. Next, we've got this, and this is brilliant. This is the Lizard TP10 meter. This is by Holtz FS and Gien, I think it's Gien or Gien FS. 4.61 megabytes download and four slots on console. Not the harvester, the trailer. Now, this is a, a trailer hitch trailer, not a semi trailer, so it's designed to be pulled by tractors, pickups, that kind of thing. But it will take pretty large bits of equipment because it's nice and wide and the length is pretty much bang on too as you can see from the width that's a big harvester this will take a fair bit of gear now you don't have to use it uh, for harvesters it has got straps so we can actually what we'll do start that uh, you can put anything you want on it of course i have to say it's pretty stable you're not going to want to corner at ridiculous speeds, but it is pretty stable. Now, it does say, top left, L1, disable lock and activate lock. Now, I thought that would lock off that front axle because it's a swivel axle. But I've tried both activate and oh, disable. That was weird. What did that do then? That kind of raised and lowered that a little bit. I don't know what it's locking. Is that suspension? Anyway, uh, L1, R1, and left stick side to side. We'll do your rear ramps. Let's take the straps off. And get this out of the way. We'll look at some of the detail. Because the wood planking on this looks brilliant. It does have a rear trailer hitch as well. So if you want to take vehicles out, like a harvester like this, you can then put the header trailer behind it as well, which is pretty handy. But this I love, the planking on it. The detail's fantastic. It really is a great mod. It's not too expensive either. If we go in to... I keep going to that one. If we go to our low loaders. 
and out to the end. 5,500, that's all. We've had some of these, you know, some low loaders that won't take a large harvest or something like that. Um, but for 5,500, you can get that. Main colour change, anything on that palette. Rim colour, we've got a grey or we've got a black. And licence play option too. Those are your options. But as I said, because you've got tension straps all the way along it, you can put pallets on it, bales or whatever you like really. It doesn't have to be vehicles. Very cool indeed. The Lizard TP 10 meter by Holtz FS and Gien FS. Which brings me on to the last of the mods for today. And it's this. Again, making a lovely welcome return. I had this one on Italia Demo on FS19. This is the Fiat 6A2 T2 by Pepe978. 13.96 megabytes download, 8 slots on console. Now it does say that this can be used or should be used in conjunction with this, which has already come out. So this is not a new mod, but this is the Lizard Semi Trailer, also by Pepe978. 9.94 megabytes download, 6 slots on console. And this can be done in all sorts of config configurations. I, I think I did that in another mod review, but it, it's designed to go with this it's kind of that's the point but you don't have to but this is the mod for today like i said nice to see this make a return old 1960s semi this is cool very nice uh, under trucks it's only 58 grand it's only 179 horsepower i mean it's not ridiculously high horsepower you're not going to pull huge loads with this but it's not too expensive either so if you're just starting out or you're on a map where it will fit really nicely now, it does say for license plate option, we've got map or 60s license plate. Now, if you go for 60s license plate, it doesn't matter what you do with the license plate there. As you can see, I've got that already set. If you've got it on 60s license plate, it stays on that PA377765. Uh, if you change it back to map, then you can change the license plate to whatever you want to change it to. Main color option, any one of these. Those are your options. Let's hop in now, see if I can get this to work. Uh, enter vehicle. Ah, oh, it didn't work. Maybe it's if I would do it uh, interior. There we go. Let's hop out again, try that again. So if you're set to interior view and go enter, there we go. You get that animation getting in, which I think is brilliant. I like that. Let's go back out again, start it up. I know the start of that, you start thinking, oh, it's going to be lack of Karacha. It's not. Lights. It's very nice. Now we do have, I assume a little bit, L1 and X open, opens the window for the driver. As you can see, especially in this weather, let a bit of air in. These things didn't come with air con. I, do I really do like that movement for looking around. I know some people said when this first came out they never got that movement. I, I don't know you know, whether that's specific. Interior detail, nice. There's no uh, beacons or anything like that on it. As I said, it's designed to work with this one but it's a semi so it will work with any trailer with the fifth wheel attacher. And off we go. And that's it for the mods for today. That was short and sweet, wasn't it? So that's it, the Fiat 682T2 by Pepe978. I hope you've... Oh, no, hang on, before I finish, before I go. We have got a map out today. Uh, this is also ported over from FS19. Old Kiwi Farm by Kaz64 and Old Aussie Gamer. Uh, that, hopefully, I'll get onto the map tour for that in the morning, I think. Uh, I hope you found this useful and informative in some way shape or form if you have please give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do thanks for watching